You've waited long enough, folks. It's Q&A round two. Amanda Whisk comments, Hello, Kaiser and Voices. Congrats on the 11,000 plus subscribers. Here are my questions. Kaiser, do you have any vocal warm-ups before doing your voices? Slenderman, does Pepsi Man have any redeeming qualities in your opinion? Mugman, since it's confirmed in your game that you can remove your head, do you put it on a nightstand before going to bed? Metaton, how does one become as fabulous as you? Thank you! Fondly, Amanda, aka Ferret Girl. P.S. Flip! Vocal warm-ups. I tend to do the vocal scales, you know, like for singing, but apart from that, no. Mainly the way I get into voice is I just slowly kind of ease into talking in that voice and then afterwards slowly ease my way out of it. That's how I typically do that, but I should consider more vocal warm-ups in the future. Pepsi Man does have a few redeeming qualities. He is a slender, much like the rest of us. He is a hero in some instances, which is good for children. And he does advertise Pepsi very well, so he's good in advertising. So, yes, there are some redeeming qualities to the guy. It's just, well, we don't get along very well. I do sleep with my head on the nightstand because it's more convenient. Could you imagine me trying to rest normally and then having my soul liquid just tip out everywhere? It'd be a mess! So yeah, I put my head on the nightstand just to be safe. Darling, either you're born fabulous or you have fabulousness thrust upon you. Although you could always try to become fabulous yourself. It is possible. <laughs> Mega Band Chick comments, My question is for Mugman. Are you going to play the updated chapters of Bendy and the Ink Machine or just chapter four? P.S. You're so adorable! Well, I already did play Chapter 4, and wow, it's surprising to say that much. Um, I do plan to play the updated chapters at some point. I just want to put my focus on a hat in time and expert mode for the time being. Sorry! I have no idea Flores, wow, nice name, says this. I have some questions. Mugman, how is your relationship with Kaiser? And, um, Kaiser, can you do any other Cuphead characters? Sorry, I've just been fangirling over Cuphead lately. Metaton, why do you sound so sexy? Oh my. And not a question, but, um, Kaiser, you have inspired me to try voice acting myself, and I love it. It's awesome! And I make so many people laugh and smile. I... and I used to be depressed and always just say, oh, I'm fine, but just think you changed that. Just, just thank you for making the world a bit of a better place. Well, that's all I have to say. Bye. Edit, congrats on 12k, and mine probably won't be answered. I was freaking late. No, you were not late. This is going to get answered, and thank you for such positive words. I still think it's incredible that people are trying voice acting and are inspired by what I do. It's just, it blows my mind that people really enjoy what I do that much, so... Thank you for such positive feedback. I'm really, really happy to hear that you're actually making people laugh and it's helping with your depression. That's really great to hear. I am so proud of you. Keep on fighting. Also, uh, Mugman? Uh, our relationship is good. He takes care of us all. You know, he's a good guy. A little bit crazy, but then again, everyone needs a little bit of crazy to be creative, right? Uh, in terms of other voices I can do, I can do a certain Cagney, you know, the Carnation, based off of Hector's voice. Of course, I can do yours truly, King Dice. As well as the Devil. And of course, there's Elder Kettle, just in case you're curious. But, um, I haven't really tried any others. If you'd like to hear me try other voices, let me know. Um, Metaton? <laughs> Darling, I was just made to be sexy. <laughs> where I'm going to have to censor most of your questions. Humor Horse asks, I have a question for you guys. Slenderman, do you know the man who speaks in hands? Metaton, what is your favorite song to dance to? Mugman, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate the Devil's Casino? Hmm, man who speaks in hands. Nope, never heard of him. Hmm, favorite song to dance to? Oh, there's so many. Mostly Queen songs, in all honesty, because seriously, who doesn't want to rock out? Oh, if I had to pick one, it would have to be Princes of the Universe. It always gets me excited. Hmm. If I had to rate his casino, I'd say it's a solid 8. It's got a lot of variety, and it's really well put together, 
but they seriously need to get an air conditioner for that place. It's too hot! Diamond Hannah 1 says, This isn't a question, but more a statement. Kai, thank you. Thank you for being there for us. I can't speak for everyone, but when I see an upload for you, whether on here, Tumblr, Twitter, or Facebook, I generally get excited. It's like being greeted by an old friend with a joke. It's nice, especially when I've had a hard day at the university, to just sit down and watch an upload from you. It's like getting a familiar hug from an old friend. It was especially nice during the time when my grandmother passed. If I felt stressed during that time, I would put my earphones in and just forget for a minute all the chaos that was happening around me. So, thank you. Thank you for being a wonderful friend and thank you for everything you do. You're such a blessing. Sorry for getting sappy. It's comments like this that really make me realize the impact I have with what I do because honestly, I'm just making videos to make people happy and to keep my family afloat. You know, that's the whole reason I started this YouTube channel and I've been very transparent about that. Not only is this channel for you guys to enjoy, but it's to help me survive. So to hear that I'm helping other people get through their rough situations while trying to help myself through mine, it feels like we're all in this together. Like we're all trudging through life trying to get through everything and we're all working together to try and be happier in the process. And just, I'm really glad that my videos helped you out so much, especially during such a hard time. As someone who lost their grand relatives, I completely understand how you feel, so. I thank you for this comment because it really did warm my heart to read and it does make me a bit emotional. I'm not gonna cry, I promise! But just thank you for such a kind statement, Hannah. It's really nice. Jayu Honey Jade says, Hello there, Kaiser and Co. And please call me Honey Jade to make the name easier. Uh, too late for that, sorry. <laughs> Mugman. First off, oh my god, I want to give you lots of cuddles because you're so cute. But the question is, and I don't know if you were asked before, what was the most painful, annoying level you've been through in Cuphead and Bendy's game? Slenderman, I have read, heard a few stories about you and some others, like Laughing Jack, Jeff the Killer, etc. My question is, have you read them yourself, and what do you think of them? Finally, Metaton, darling, how do you get so fabulous? And will you try any games in the future? Also, give hugs to Metaton! Sorry, Slandy, but you're a bit spoopy for me. Still like you, though. Oh, P.S. Kaiser, if you can only voice for one day, who would you voice as? Mmm, thank you for such kind compliments. And, uh, most annoying boss fight. Wally Warbles, without question. Seriously, in both normal mode and expert mode, he is annoying as can be. And in expert mode, he's worse because he's got that five-way spread eggshell that's really an- Getting ahead of myself. Wally Warbles would be the answer to that question. Uh, as for Bendy, Chapter 3 had a lot going on, and honestly, just the runaround was really confusing. I had to split that episode into two parts! I haven't really read the other stories, although that would be a good idea. I'm gonna have to contact Paula for this one. <laughs> I already answered the how do I get so fabulous part, so look to that last question. Also, I wouldn't mind trying other games in the future. Let me know what you guys would like me to play apart from dating sims, because those are always a delight. <laughs> if I had to do one voice for one day, oh, that's tough, because doing voices wears me out. <laughs> like, that's why I don't maintain them for very long is because, you know, after a while of doing it, it like hurts the throat. But um, if I had to do one voice, from the ones that I do all day, Metaton. It would have to be Metaton. It's the easiest for me to do. Not to mention, I would get plenty of looks. <laughs> Hoder cycles! See, they do exist. I'm not crazy! Anyways, moving on. It's Skip Productions asks for the QA thing to everyone. Favorite color and why? I ask this to literally everybody that I know. Uh, teal for me. Blue! Black. Pink. Jumpy Cool asks, Do you do the voices for all the characters? Hint, this is for the Q&A. Yes. It's in the title of the channel. Kaiser and the voices. I do all the voices here on this channel, apart from the voices of special guests, which are my friends. Robot Boy Blot Games, many exclamation marks, asks, For the Q&A, Slenderman, how do the other creepypastas act? Well, I can't vouch for the other creepypastas that I know, 
but Jeff's kind of a dick, Eyeless Jack is kind of a loner, Ben is a total gamer geek, and Laughing Jack, well, he's just crazy. Oh, and Smile Dog's very quiet. Kakashi's Watcher, didn't I answer a question from you last Q&A? Kaiser, you earn all the love. I love watching your videos and with all of the people you voice with. You earn them and I can't wait to see more in the near future. Believe me, I can't wait to do more in the near future. Question for Slendy. During the Kate level, does turning on the first generator you come across start the level or can you turn on any of them to start? Also, this is Lulu Guardian of Created from Tumblr. You're still not scary. You, excuse me, yes I am. Also, to answer your question, the first generator you find is the only one that you can activate. You can't open any of the other doors until you open that particular generator. Well, turn on that particular generator. So, until you turn that one on, that's when the level begins. It stinks, but them's the rules. Ken Howler 2004 says, Well, might as well say that soon you will be celebrating 20k subs. Yeah, no kidding, 18,000 just got reached recently. <laughs> Anyways, you earn 20 million notification bells for how amazing you are. Oh, thank you. I am also making a Minecraft build dedicated to you. What? Seriously? Oh, dude, I can't wait to see that. So here are the questions. Kai, do you like voicing Frog in Paula's Let's Play of Alice Madness Returns? Slender, have you met Harrowbrine? If so, tell him not to glitch out my worlds. Muggo, what is your favorite boss fight in Cuphead besides Kala? If it's Dice or the Devil, you could have glitched them out, just saying. Metaton, what is your favorite form to have? To all of Featured, what are your favorite TV shows? You were an awesome bunch, don't be told otherwise. Have fun in future Let's Plays. Shovel Knight was mentioned on my last Q&A for some unknown... Okay, pasta pun, no regrets, reason. Well then, that is quite the long series of asks. Um, I do enjoy doing Frog's voice for Paula's Let's Play of Alice Madness Returns. I like that character, he's just... Goofy and funny, in my opinion. Not to mention sounding like a mad doctor, Spun. <laughs> I have not met Herobrine, but I'll be sure if I meet him to tell him not to mess up your Minecraft servers. Oh, come on! That's not fair! Oh, well, let me choose Kala because it's too obvious. Nah! Uh, if I had to pick a favorite boss fight from the game... Hmm, there's quite a few good ones. Uh, Jimmy the Greats was fun. I liked the variety in his level. Uh, Beppy, well annoying. His was also really cool. Um, Dr. Cole's robot is tough, but I love robots, so yeah. And I guess if I had to choose... I really like Grim Matstick. Does he really like fighting dragons? <laughs> Favorite form, darling? Well, obviously it's my EX form. With legs like these, how can you complain? <laughs> Favorite TV shows? Oh, this is gonna be tough. Uh, mine bounces from time to time, but I currently love Stranger Things. Can't wait for season three. Hmm, personally for me, I'm more of a fan of American Horror Story, thank you very much. Mmm, Voltron! Hmm, I'd have to say Black Mirror. Emerald Angel 3 says, Congratulations on over 11,000 subscribers! Kaiser, which voice is easier for you to do? Also, which is the most fun? Slender, do you have any preference to video games that are involved with horror? Mugman, what do you think would have happened if you could have stopped your brother from accepting the deal? Metaton, have you tried any anime with Alphys? If not, I'd recommend Princess Tutu. Hmm. Easiest voice to do would be Metaton because it's more in line with my natural voice, so it doesn't really affect my vocal cords that much. And it's also the most fun, so Metaton wins in that regard. Hmm. When it comes to horror games, not too many jump scares, good atmosphere, haunting music, and good controls. Those are my rules for a good horror game. If you have those in line, then you're safe. If not, well, you'll end up on an episode of Slender Games, that's for sure. Hmm. If I had stopped him from making that deal with the devil, then probably wouldn't have gone to the other Isles in Inkwell. Probably wouldn't have met all those cool people. Probably wouldn't have met Kala. Hmm. You know, in retrospect, maybe him taking the deal wasn't that bad, but still! Ugh, anime. I'm sorry, darlings. Even though my design is inspired by anime, I am not a fan. Although I will check out Princess Tutu just to see what it's all about. If there's good dancing involved, I'll have to take up a few moves. 
the Super Gamer Lord. Okay, guys, check this guy's channel out. He is super nice, super kind. He's made a lot of videos about me, and I don't know why, but seriously, he is so kind. Please go check him out. First of all, congrats on hitting 11,000. I'm going to have to make that special video faster now, which is already made. Go check it out. Okay, here are my questions. Sorry, this comment is long. To Kaiser, what's the best way to stay in character during a recording? Asking this since I am constantly getting out of character and I need to improve. To Slenderboo. Slendyboo? Oh my god, Slendyboo. I love that. If you had to change the color of your suit from black to a different color, what would it be? To Mugman, besides Kala, what was the hardest boss to fight? Also, could you say hi to Fat Freddy for me? He's a huge fan of you and wishes to meet you someday. To Metaton, what would you say to your past self before you were fabulous? P.S. Thank you for changing my life for the better. I'm a lot more confident in myself and the videos I make now thanks to you, Kaiser. And your videos and the characters, of course. You deserve every single one of your subscribers. Keep up being the talented, funny, humble person you are, my friend. Aw, oh, stop making me blush! <laughs> Seriously! I'm serious, like, every time I read these comments or get messages like this, I get red in the face, because, ah, you guys are too kind. Ah, anyways, um, the best way to stay in character during a recording session, I would say, actually, is to basically build the character before you start recording. The reason why I say this is because in acting, you have to build your character before you start acting as them. Who they are, what their personality is like, what are their likes and dislikes, what they're doing before a scene, what they're doing after a scene, that kind of thing. You know, you have to build the character before you jump into it. That's the best way to stay in character. You have to make sure to have that firm basis first. So I would say build your character and then go for it. You'll find you'll have a lot more, you know, a lot uh, easier time staying in character. Sorry, I get jumbled up every now and again. Hmm, if I had to change the color of my suit, I guess it would have to be navy blue. Not a bright navy blue, but more of a dark navy blue for one reason. Better to sneak around at night. <laughs> Ugh, you too! Why is everyone trying to keep me away from Cal in this freaking Q&A? <sighs> Hardest boss fight has to be Dr. Call. For the moment! Because I'm playing expert mode and that could change in a heartbeat. So, Dr. Call's fight is really challenging. Mainly because his robot has multiple forms and multiple attacks. And those seeker bombs stink! <laughs> also, hi Fat Freddy! Hmm. To my past self, I know things are tough right now. You feel shy, timid, and afraid, like no one is ever going to understand your talent. But trust me, darling, you're going to go farther than you ever thought possible. So keep that little ghost chin up, keep your hair fabulous, and keep on floating, darling. Marianne Orozco asks, question for Mugman. How did it feel when Calamaria kissed you? Kaiser. Does your voice hurt when you do the voices? Slenderman, why do people think you're scary? Last but not least, Metaton, why are you so pixeled? I know you're a pixel game, but you look like you're a person who took a long time to make up. Uh, <laughs> um, have you ever had that feeling like you're floating and just everything disappears and you're just really happy and floating? Yeah, that's what that felt like. Um, after prolonged periods of time doing voices, yes, it does hurt. But not in the sense of it's like painful, like it's like scratchy. It's more of just like, my voice is worn. Something like that. Well, I am an interdimensional being from another dimension with tendrils coming out of my backside, no face, really long limbs, and generally a haunting dysdemeanor. That's usually why people are afraid of me. Although DeviantArt is trying to ruin that! Well, darling, pixels are in these days. Gotta stay in style! <laughs> Elysium Irvin asks, Mugman, between Sally's stage play and Metaton, who is the better actor slash fighter? Also, Kaiser, you're awesome. No, you're awesome! Hmm. I would have to say the better fighter is Metaton? But the better actor is Sally stage play. Don't tell him I said that. Kayla Carter asks, Oh, another ask video. That'd be epic. Um, could I maybe ask Slendy if he's going to be doing more reads? Because I'm working on a story that I think he'd really like to read. And trust me, it's not going to be one of those really bad fan fictions. 
If you want me to read your story, please send it to P Shardic Productions. That's where I'll be checking them out, and that's where I will be reading them. And if it's a good fanfiction, thank you very much! Mario Luigi 2 asks, Congrats on the 10k! Well, 11k now. Uh, we're like 18, possibly 19 if this doesn't get out soon enough. I have a few questions. Kaiser, sorry if I spelled your name wrong. You didn't! Any characters that you want to voice in the future? If so, which one? Two Mugman, Metaton, and Slenderman. Any games you guys want to play after you're finished with the games you're currently playing? If so, which one? Three, again to Mugman, Metaton, and Slenderman. What do you guys think of each other? Also including the guys that aren't here like Papyrus, Blueberry, and Shovel Knight, and Kaiser. Just wondering. You can also just say which of these people you like the most if it's too big a question. Sorry for my horrible English. Love you all so much. Hey, you're learning. It's all good. Your English is actually really good. Just a few tweaks here and there and you'll be perfect. Um, there are some characters I would like to create voices for in the future. At the moment, I'm trying to think of what would sound good for Rayman. We're still trying to work on that translator, so that voice is still under construction, as is a Hollow Knight voice. I'm really, really excited to work on that one. So yeah, there are definitely a lot of characters I'd like to voice for in the future. I recently created a Baldy voice, so that's going to be something that's going to frequent at some point. Hmm... You know, there are a few games I'd like to try. A few indie games like Titan Souls, The Binding of Isaac, a few things like that. Personally, I'd rather stick to the horror genre. I wouldn't mind trying out Amnesia the Dark Descent. Hmm, people keep saying I should play Honey Pop. I'm not so sure, though. Maybe Honey Camp Studio to start with. Hmm, I like these guys. They're really nice. Although Metaton is a bit sassy. Oh, well, darling, that's how I'm made. But you are really cute and slendy, darling. Aren't you a tall glass of water? Please do not flirt with me. Even though you are a bit flirtatious, you're all right. And this mug kid's okay. I really don't have too many complaints about them. Also, everybody else is pretty cool. Same opinion here, honestly. Yep. Peace Shadok Productions. Yo, Slender Moon, where you at? You get the hell out of here with that nonsense! You know that is banned in this server! Nice going, P. Galaxy Cat asks, I got some questions! Hey Slendy, what's it like living in the same house as a bunch of killers? Hey Kai, does your voice sometimes crack when voicing higher pitched characters? Hey Mughead, Mugman! What's it like in Inkwell nowadays? And last but not least, for my fave diva bot, does water have an effect on you like rusting? I'm curious. Um, living in a house with a bunch of serial killers is an interesting experience. Doesn't get boring, that's for sure. But it doesn't get any easier when people are tr coming to your door left and right asking, Where's this person? Where's that person? And then you got police with search warrants. It's annoying! Oh, believe me. Yes, it does. And it sucks! Because I want to be able to voice those high-pitched characters, but then my voice is like, eh, nope. So, yeah, it does sometimes crack. Very rarely, but it does happen. Inkwell's actually been pretty calm nowadays, although I hear something's on the horizon. I'm kind of worried. Well, I hope it's nothing bad. Hmm, water really doesn't bother me that much. That's why I'm able to go to Waterfall with no problem. If anything, it helps my shine. I'm rust-proof, so not too big an issue for me. Anna x Eric forever. Whoa, big one. A comment to Kaiser. Who or what is harder for you to voice in a Let's Play? I know during your Outlast Let's Play, you were doing two characters, Underswap Sands and Underswap Papyrus, that are slightly higher than your normal voice. Metaton and Slenderman are a touch deeper by contrast, and you have to edit the robotic effect for MT afterwards. I'm curious. For Mugman, I have advice for you. Never tell your brother about a pleasure cruise ship called the Gran Tesoro. Eternal servitude to the devil is bad, but at least he doesn't kill his enemies or innocents by turning them into gold statues and King Dice doesn't unfairly turn odds in his favor by stealing luck from other players. And since we both know Cuphead is a dupe for easy riches, I'm warning you ahead of time. Good one. For Metaton, I know Alphys is kind of your mom for creating your battle body so you could interact with fans as an androgynous J-pop inspired star. However, I'm curious as to whether you've met No about your fandom dad. That doctor title is likely satirical, but I know but Dr. Frankenfurter is still a biochemical researcher and fellow creator of handsome monsters. Not to mention they have legs for days. Okay. 
I'd have to say the Underswap brothers are the hardest to voice, mainly because I'm bouncing between them during the Let's Play. And in Outlast, that was a bit of a tricky issue, was making sure to maintain one voice over the other, depending on who was playing at the time. So you'd probably notice that at times it sounded like one was overlapping the other. That's a normal thing, because when it goes from one voice to another in such random succession, it does get a little bit crazy. Yeah. As for Metaton, basically it's just doing the voice and then adding the effect in later, so that's not too tricky. But for the Underswap voices, yeah, definitely hard for me. Oh boy. Thank you for warning me about that ahead of time. Because uh, knowing him, he'd probably do something stupid like that. He has a really bad gambling addiction. We're trying to break his habit, but it's not easy. Darling, I know of my father. He is a sweet transvestite after all. From transsexual Transylvania. <laughs> yes, indeed. And he does have such fabulous legs. P.S. I love that movie. <laughs> Sorry. Moving on. Sora the Shadowlight Countess Tale. Congratulations, Kai, for getting 11,000 subs. You're an awesome person. Thank you. You awesome videos. They always bring a smile to my face when I'm feeling down, as well as Paula. Keep up the great work, guys. To Slenderman. Do you have other suits? If so, how many and what other classics do you have? To Kai. Which comic dub on Paula's channel do you enjoy working on the most? Honey, I've got a closet filled with suits that make John Cena blush. Also, quite a few classics. I can't pull them out now because they're currently at the dry cleaners, but just know that my collection is massive. Oh boy, this question's tough. Cause I don't know if you know this, but I have done a few comic dubs on her channel. Quite a few. Um, a bit more than usual. <laughs> Okay, uh, if I had to pick one that I absolutely loved working on, it would be Memoirs of the Error, where um, Underswap Papyrus fights Error Sans. I loved working on that. That was the first time I ever really did an Underswap voice, and it was such a delight to play that character. I really felt like I naturally melded with him. And then later on, Underswap uh, Sans came into the picture, so yeah. That would be the one that I enjoyed working on the most. Enderwolf asks, Too Slender, don't you have a sister named 66? To Metaton, how is yours and Papyrus's kid? To Mugman, how excited are you for Bendy Chapter 4 and will any special guests join, aka Sammy or the Projectionist? To Kaiser, what is your favorite thing about being a voice actor? Sister? I didn't know I had a sister. Why doesn't anybody tell me these things anymore? <sighs> Impact is doing just fine, darling. He's going through puberty right now, it's a bit of a rough time, but he's doing okay in the grand scheme of things. I enjoyed Chapter 4 quite a bit, actually. It was a lot of fun, and man, those boss fights were nuts! Also, that ending! Seriously, I'm hyped for Chapter 5! And Chapter 5 is going to have everyone you know and love from the last few episodes, so look forward to that! Favorite thing about being a voice actor is just being able to create these voices, you know, Whenever a new thing comes along, like a new series, a new game, I'm always trying to figure out how I would do that voice. And the fun thing about being a voice actor is I can create these voices if I work hard enough at it. You know, the fact that I can have this ability to make voices is honestly the best thing about it. That and tripping people up when I can do the voices and they believe I can't. That's always fun. Clonoa1211 asks, To Mugman, I know that you hate it when King Dice kept calling you Mughead. Mugman! And believe me, I hate it when people get my real name wrong too. Have you ever thought about doing a fireback and calling him Prince Dice? Because seriously, why is he called King if it's the devil's the one who's sitting on the throne and wearing the crown? Hmm. You do raise a good point. I'm gonna have to remember that. Prince Dice. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get it when I see you again, King Dice. Ashes93 asks, Congratulations on reaching this goal. I personally didn't use to comment, but your videos just couldn't be left without voicing my little thoughts. There's such joys to watch. I have two questions for Mugman. If you ever have your very own dragon, how would it look like? In the Cuphead Let's Play, you mentioned you like them. Also, do you accept an internet hug? Like a thank you for brightening my days with your commentaries. Um, if I had a dragon... Oh, that's a tough question. Hmm, 
I suppose it would have the fire-breathing abilities of Smaug, the terrible, from The Hobbit. It would have the design of Grim Matchstick from my game. It would be a nice shade of blue, because seriously, who doesn't love blue? And... Hmm... I don't know! I, I never had to think about this! Ah! It would have really big wings and a spiky tail and really large claws and just... Ah! I guess that would be it. Also, of course I accept internet hugs. Come here, buddy. Rachel Zamorano asks, I'm pretty sure you want to answer these questions, but I may as well try. Well, you're about to get a rude awakening. One, to the amazing Kaiser, what's the funniest thing that has happened during recording? P.S. You make my day ten times better. Aww. To the amazing Slenderman, who is your favorite family member or the one who least annoys you? To the wonderful Mugman, how's the love life? Not in a dirty way. To the fabulous Metaton. How are you so fabulous? Keep being fabulously and tell Blue Key I say hi. I'd say the funniest thing that happened during a recording session was actually recently. I was recording Baldi's Basics in Education and Learning, and I went to go answer one of the questions, so I pressed the zero key on the number pad, forgetting that the zero is what starts and stops the recording. So as I'm answering, I see the number go screen, and I'm like, oh crap! <laughs> It's just the worst. <laughs> I had a good chuckle of it because here I am trying to play this game about mathematics and mathematics is what ends my recording like very quickly. I had to throw a little edit there just to mention what happened. It was hilarious. I would have to say the family member that least annoys me and that I actually get along with, surprisingly, is Trenda Man. He's actually really laid back, down to earth, really positive influence, not to mention he's great with fashion. And he's just really understanding, so Trenderman would be the one I would choose. Uh, <laughs> the love life's going well. Um, no complaints here. Um, yeah, it's starting to get really serious between Kala and I, to tell you the truth. We're actually thinking of getting our own place soon, so yeah, um, that's gonna be a really big step. Also, um, kind of preparing to ask a really big question to her soon, so, um, wish me luck. Darling, as I said before, you're either born fabulous, have fabulousness thrust upon you, or you make your own fabulous path. Also, I'll be sure to tell Loki you said hello. Puppet Fangirl 12 asks, Kaiser, does your phone always go off during videos? Yes! And that's why I constantly have to mute it or throw it on the bed because it gets in the way and interrupts the recording. It stinks. Star Galaxy asks, here are my questions. Oh my God, I've never done this. I'm nervous. Kaiser, you are all look awesome. You actually the one that got me into YouTube and making videos. So thanks. Not a question, but you're welcome. And I'm really glad that you like my videos. Mugs, why are you so dang adorable? Kaiser. Do you know what South Park is, and if you do, are you going to play any of the two games or play games as the characters? P.S. I'm making fan art. I want to see that fan art! Uh, I don't know, just cause I'm small, big nose, and I, I blush very easy. I don't know, but thank you for thinking me, it's adorable! Um, I actually do know South Park, I'm a fan of South Park, I can sort of do a trick voice! <laughs> And at some point, I do plan to play the games, maybe as Tweak? Haven't decided yet, but it is in the future. Sarex321 asks, I have some questions for you, Kai. One, how long does it take to edit a video? Two, I remember you said that besides Let's Plays, you would like to do song covers. Do you have any plans for that? I'm not saying you should do it if you don't want to. I'm asking if you have ever considered it. Three, gaming, voice acting, editing, collabs, college, and somehow getting enough sleep. How do you manage all of that at the same time. You're incredible, man. Little extras. Slenderman, this is probably none of my business, but how do you eat? Do you even eat? Mug, repeat after me. Los dragones son adorables, pero yo soy lo más. Oh my god, that's gonna sound so cute, this voice. I'm sorry it's a bit long, <laughs> but anyway, keep up the good work, Kai. Remember, you'll always have almost 12,000 people supporting you no matter what. Have a nice day. Jesus, that many people. I really don't want to disappoint. Okay, in terms of how long it takes to edit a video, that depends on the video, to be honest. There are some videos, like Shovel Knight, Slenderman, and such, that take a little bit less time. I'd say max 30 minutes, if I want to throw in some zooms or some quick edits here and there. For Mugman and Papyrus, however, 
Oh boy, that could take upwards to two to three days, if I'm lucky. The reason it takes me that long to edit is because I have to go to a technical institute. Because I'm not in traditional college anymore. I graduated traditional college, but um, I'm currently in a technical institute for audio engineering and music production. Which is basically one class for 10 days, intensive courses. And each class is six hours. So essentially from 8 to 2, I'm in school. Then I have to come home and edit and, you know, manage my house. Well, not my house, but um, make sure the room's tidied up, take care of the dog, eat, sleep. I honestly don't know how I pull it off, but I'm usually up till midnight uh, making sure I'm either editing or voice acting. I make sure to get at least six hours of sleep so that way I'm not killing myself. But yeah, no, it takes the energy out of me. Also, naps. Naps help a lot. A lot. Okay, um, los dragones son adorables, pero yo soy lo más. What does that mean? It means dragons are adorable, but I'm more adorable. Uh, you guys! Haley Hart and her pals asks, Slenderman, have you ever gotten scared? You're awesome. Mugman, have you ever had an awkward moment? You're so adorable. Metaton, how did you become so fabulous? You're super fabulous. Kaiser, are you ticklish? So sorry, and you're the bestest. Everyone, let's all be friends. I have gotten scared. If you've seen me playing Baldi's Basics in Education and Learning, you'll know I got scared very quickly. Um, well, uh, my first meeting with Kala after the fight, considering, well, we did wallop her. Oh uh, yeah, that was kind of awkward. Darling, I was made to be fabulous. Uh, yes. I am ticklish. And my fiancé exploits it at any chance she gets. Seriously! And of course we can be friends! Friendship! BonnieFan3000 asks two questions. One, Mugman, have you met Luigi? Because I think he has the same personality as you. Kaiser, what's your favorite voice that you enjoyed voicing the most? Um... I don't think Luigi's here, but I certainly wouldn't mind meeting him. Motorcycles. Favorite voice that I've enjoyed voicing? Um. Oh god. That's a tough question because I enjoy voicing all of them, and I can't really just pick one. But if I have to be honest, voicing Mugman has been a delight because he is just such a bubbly, positive personality that. I seriously love using because he makes so many people happy. He's like my son, and I want to take care of the little guy, so Mugman would be my answer here. One-Eyed Warrior asks, Congrats, Kaiser. Your channel is growing so rapidly, and you deserve it. MTT and Pap are the characters that kind of introduced me to you, and then somehow Slenderman. Then Mugman led me to your channel. So I have two questions, actually. One, did you ever have any doubts with your videos? And two, why does Mugface Mugman hate being called Mugface anyway? Please educate me on that. <laughs> eh, I'll stop now. Edit. Oh my gosh, I didn't think you would actually see my comment. Thank you for noticing me. Also, I got the mug pun from a friend on the Cuphead Amino. Okay, I'm gonna really go now. Oh. To be honest, yes, I did have doubts. And in all honesty, I still do when I introduce new concepts. I'm always in a state of doubt when it comes to my videos because I never know if you guys are going to enjoy it, if you guys are going to watch it, if you guys are going to share it. I seriously don't know. You know, yeah, I'm doing it because I love it and it helps keep the family afloat, but I'm always worried. I'm always scared that I'm going to do something or say something that's going to rub you guys the wrong way or I'm going to make a video you guys don't like. You know, so yeah, I do doubt myself sometimes and I did doubt in the beginning. It has gotten easier though, but... Yeah, sometimes, you know, I do doubt. But hearing stuff like this and doing videos like this it sort of reassures me that you guys really do enjoy what I do, so thank you. Um, the reason I hate being called Mugface is because that's not my name. If you're gonna call me my name, call me my freaking name! Don't change it up! Besides, it sounds stupid! Mugface, or Mughead. You know my head's a mug, you don't need to point it out to me! Candy House 1928 asks, Hi Kaiser, I love your channel and I have a question for you all. To Mugman, would you rather fight Calamaria for a month on expert mode, or not fight her at all but not be able to be with her for two months? To Slenderman, 
What do you have to say about your brothers? Splenderman, Tenderman, and Offenderman. To Metaton, what would you do if you met other versions of you from different AUs of Undertale? I love this channel so much, and I hope you keep going. Oh, I intend to. Um, oh, that's really tough. Why do you have to make me answer such sad questions? Well, um, I suppose fighting her for a month on expert mode would be the better option, to be honest, because I wouldn't be able to live with myself for two months if I couldn't see her. Honestly, the other brothers aren't that bad. I would say Splendor Man is bubbly, Trender Man is chill, and Offender Man, well, nobody really talks to Offender Man. For good reason. Darling, I've already met other versions of myself, and we have such delightful conversations. Especially the one from Underfell. He's such a shy little type. I'm trying to help him be more confident. Erica Curran Mosuela, wow, that rolls off the tongue, asks, question for Kaiser. What is on your head? Metaton, how do you be so fabulous all the time? Oh, stars. Muggy, I get the after and during meeting Calamaria. I keep flip-flopping. Okay, Calamaria. That's what I'm sticking with. But how are you before meeting her? Slenderman, why prey on children? Everyone, how y'all doing? Dear Kaiser, before stumbling across your channel, life wasn't that interesting. You know, because I was, keyword was, fighting depression and wasn't feeling so well. Your perky and really entertaining attitude and voices helping a bit, little by little. Because of that, some things change. Thanks! Also love your videos and keep on doing what you love, sweetheart. Oh, I'm really glad that my videos are helping you out. And keep on fighting! You're gonna get through this! Um, my head? Uh, I honestly don't know. What is in there? Huh. Chocolate ice cream, apparently. Nice! I dig it! Darling, like I said before, and I'll say it again, I was made to be fabulous! Well, uh, before I met her, I had only heard her voice in small echoes across Inkwell. She tends to sing at night, which in all honesty surprises me. She should be able to sing at any time, but at night time her voice is so wonderful, especially with the waves of Inkwell Isle 1 crashing against the grain. Uh, uh, Slenderman, answer your question! You see, children are much easier targets. That's why. Really, there's no other explanation than that. Children just make easier targets for this sort of thing. I mean, adults are juicy targets, but they have too much whining and running and- PLEASE DON'T HURT ME! Children are very easy to deceive. Uh, I'm doing good. Bit tired, but I'm alright. Same here. Ditto! Definitely. The nerd. Hi, nerd! My god! I'm so proud of you and everything you've done on here. I don't think a huge rant is even enough to describe my happiness. And another Q&A? I haven't gotten a chance at asking questions on the last one, so now's my chance! To Mugman, when you drink yourself, do you ever get lightheaded, considering you're emptying your head? To Slenderman, will you be inviting some of your other pasta pals to future Let's Plays? To Metaton, hello you gorgeous thing you. Glad to hear from you again. When performing, do you ever get anxious before each show? To Kaiser, do you realize that tons of people, including myself, consider you as one of many role models? You've made such a positive impact on so many lives. This is gonna be a lot for you to read, I'm sorry. That's fine, don't worry about it. Um, technically, no. I don't get lightheaded. And the reason why is this. Immediately upon drinking myself, it refills anyway. So it's like an unlimited fountain. Well, I mean, hmm, that could be interesting if they want to join in. I'll have to ask them about it. Darling, everyone gets a little anxious before show, even yours truly. It's mainly just performance anxiety. Once you get on stage, though, the scene is yours. I do, and, uh, it's a little scary. Because I want to make sure that I'm setting the right example and being the right kind of person for all these people watching me. You know, I want them to know that they have a good role model to have on YouTube because, sadly, not a lot of good ones these days. I want to make sure that what I do and the people that watch my stuff, they have something to enjoy and they have a positive role model to look up to, you know? I want to make sure they understand that they can feel safe here no matter who or what they are, you know? 
So yeah, I'm really thankful for it, but also kind of scared of it because I don't want to make any mistakes. Celeste Olivos asks, Hey, congrats, my boy. I have a question for Muggy since you completely melt my heart when you tell your feelings about Cala Maria in the last Q&A. What would be your dream wedding with Cala Maria, by the way? You're the best. Um, uh, um, well, uh, if I had to be honest, I would like something traditional, you know? The long walkway, the flower girls, you know, I'd like a traditional wedding because, you know, that's what feels right. That and, well, I would love to hear her read vows and I'd like to read my own, have the kissing of the bride. Moving on! Katie Kawaii Angel Ostrom asks, Hey, uh, congrats on over 10k subs. I love your videos and games. So I have questions for you, Mugman, Slenderman, and Metaton. One, for Mugman. What's your most least favorite part of playing Cuphead and Mending the Ink Machine? Two, for everyone, if you have a favorite vacation spot, where would it be? Hmm. Most favorite part of playing Cuphead was the Whirlybird stages. Even though they were tricky, it was fun having more freedom of movement. Least favorite part? The death counter going astronomically high because I keep getting my butt kicked! Uh, best part of Bending the Ink Machine would be the best exploration of the studio. The worst part? Chapter 3. Hmm. Well, I mean, I live in a vacation spot, Puerto Rico, so there you go. I have to agree. Same here. Ditto! Susanna Rogers asks, I know this isn't a question, but Mugman, I have to thank you for introducing me to Kaiser and his amazing channel. Your Cuphead playthrough is one of the most funniest things I've ever seen, so thank you. Aw, you're welcome. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Lohan Gaming 289X asks, Okay, okay, wait. I have a question. I'm about to reveal myself. One, it is I, Lohan 289X from Tumblr. Hi, buddy. Hi. Nice to see ya. Two, how does it feel to make everybody smile, laugh, and brighten their day? My day got a lot brighter from episode one of Undertale. Well, believe me, I think a lot of people like that one. And in all honesty, it's one of the best feelings in the world. Knowing that my videos make so many people happy is a freaking delight. You know, it just, it warms my heart to see such positive reception, you know, for something so goofy because I didn't think I could do this at first, but seeing you guys reacting so positively and having so many people watch, it, it's ridiculous. So yeah, thank all of you because without you guys, I wouldn't be here. Allison Saffron asks, have you played Doki Doki Literature Club and or will you do a playthrough of it on your channel? No, I have not, but it has certainly been requested. I'm keeping that one on the back burner for a while, but one day. And that wraps it up for this Q&A session. Thank you guys so much for watching up to this point. Thank you guys for all your awesome questions and comments. And yeah, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a comment in the boxes below, letting us know what you'd like to see for the next Q&A. Also, be sure to subscribe, ring that notification bell, and turn on all notifications so you know when we're coming back to answer your questions. Also, share this video around because it's time to answer those questions and people need to know. And with that said, this has been Kaiser and Mugman and Slenderman and Metaton. And we'll see you guys next time.